finally we get stunning realism in AI. Hello my friends and how are you doing? Yes, I found my hackerman here again and today I want to talk about Flux 1.1 pro model which is really cool and I'm loving that Black Forest Labs is making these fast updates to their models and these big improvements really cool let's get started so first let's check out their website where they announced the pro model here they say it's faster better stronger and when we scroll down a little bit we have here the blueberries which is the code name for this model kind of making fun of stability AI with their strawberry project and you scroll a little bit lower you see these fantastic images here that are presented to us and that show you very nice quality now here are several images like this one that look photorealistic where you couldn't tell if this is a photo or not so we are getting really close and it is also amazing that this can create different art styles and by the way you can try this today yourself but first let's look at some more examples again here super realistic results absolutely stunning loving the colors loving the realism this comes really close to looking like something out of your camera again here we have something as you can imagine this is more imaginary made up but still really cool very nice reflections on the ground very nice consistency from the colors from the elements from the architecture everything works here pretty nicely let's go here to the next image anime style also and then we have some complexity first of all have a look at the hands well uh, on one hand it has five fingers plus a thumb so the count isn't right but the anatomy of the hands is pretty good and the way she's holding the paper in front of her face with that smile drawn on them is also very good so complexity wise this is a big win here we have the next image very nice chrome face skin where you have these reflections on there beautiful colors beautiful details in there and again we have an anime image here so this model really can create some very stunning images here we have a close-up of an eye again we have very nice details and pay attention here also to the skin details because flux has a bit of problem with realistic skin and here actually the skin looks pretty good although in this case the skin is also much much closer than in a usual image here we have a wrinkly man also we have the nice skin here but I have to point out here that wrinkled skin is much easier to create so we still have to see how good it is for nice young skin because there it might have this kind of turkey skin as I call it here's another example of a super realistic image of an old couple walking at the beach again very nice details the shadow is beautiful on the ground the sea looks good the colors are very nice really looks like an analog photo and here we have actually a sleeping guy again super realistic and the skin and the face looks really stunning so in this case no turkey skin no very large pores just very nice skin that looks as it should apart from these visual improvements flux 1.1 pro also is advertised as being superior in speed and efficiency as well as improved performance and they have some charts down here where you can see these kind of results and of course their model is always the best in the charts as expected so here you have the elo score which is kind of like the quality on how good it is and then you have the speed and you can see that flux one schnell is faster but not as good and sd3 medium is also faster but way worse and then you have flux 1.1 pro which is fast and good so that you can create one image for only four cents now where can you do that you can head over for example to replicate.com I'm not affiliated with them I only found that they support the model right today you don't have a subscription you only pay for the generations you actually generate and I made some tests for myself 
Now here you have the settings as you expect with the ratio, with the resolution, with the safety tolerance. You have here a fixed seat or a random seat. It has a prompt upscaling, which is pretty nice. So it will automatically modify the prompt for more creative generations and also probably nicer image quality. And then you can even choose the output format between WebP, JPEG and PNG, whatever is nicest for you. So let's have a quick look see at the images that I have generated. Now here we have the fish in an aquarium. I would say that looks pretty good. All of these are first rolls. So this is the only image I have created and only one prompt. So I didn't experiment with the prompts. I wanted to see what I get right away. So this is an unfiltered result. Here we have the next image of a man walking through the forest with a backpack. Also looks pretty good. It doesn't have this hyper realism that we have seen from the other images from their test page. So probably there is some tricks you can do in the prompt to improve that. Here we have a watercolor painting of a lion. So it also does different art styles. Looks pretty good. Kind of missing here the paper texture, but from the art style, it's very beautiful. Next, we have here a Japanese samurai standing in front of the Mount Fuji in Japan. It looks very nice. I love how he's holding the sword, even though it might should be like a katana or a bent sword. But other than that, I feel like all of the details look very, very nice. Next, we have here a fashion photo of a Asian woman sitting in the back of the car. I very much like how this turned out. Kind of missing here the realistic skin, but also pointing out it doesn't have the turkey skin. It has some nice bokeh balls in the background. And I kind of want to point out she doesn't sit in the back of a car. At least I would say that. So yeah, it's not 100% what I wanted from the prompt, but the result is still pretty good. And here we have a product photo of a burger sitting on a plate on a wooden table. So it actually did what I told it in the prompt. Now here I have to tell you that the fork is sticking through the knife. So there's a little bit of a mistake in there. But overall, the result is pretty good and precise to the prompt I wanted to have. If you go to the announcement page of Flux 1.1 Pro, you can see here try it on with the four supported services. So choose one of these official services because I want to tell you there is fake sites out there. Don't fall for them. Use these official pages instead. And like I said, with the replicate.com website, but also with some of the other websites, you don't have to buy a subscription. You only have to pay for the generations. Now, one of the downsides of the pro models is that this is probably never going to be there for the local hardware because it has pretty high requirements. You can't really run it as far as I know on even a good graphics card like a 4090. But this is probably also why it is called a pro model because it's for the pro servers where you can then generate it online. But I'm also in love with the fast updating speed of Black Forest Labs. So I'm pretty sure we're going to see improvements for local models soon too. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to see more updates like this. And thank you for watching. Bye.